Coal mines are some of the oldest structures that humans have built. We've been digging up in the ground in search of black gold for thousands of years. And a lot of crazy things that come out of the ground, not only coal, from the iron pot that some claim is 300 million years old, to the mysterious spheres left behind by aliens. Here's 20 impossible artifacts found in coal mines. <laughs> Number 20, Ancient Iron Pot. In 1912, a worker at an electric company in Arkansas broke open a big piece of coal and found a pot made of iron. Geologists say that the first coal bed was from the Pennsylvanian period and was about 300 million years old, which means that the pot must be the same age. Well, maybe. Some say this is where the story heats up, and others say this is where the story fizzles out. Skeptics say that the only proof it exists is one person's word, which, um, isn't very scientific. Also, this object conveniently disappeared, so we can't do anything to verify it. If the object were found today, we would know a lot more about how it was found, where it came from, who made it, and what it was used for, and most importantly, how old it is. We don't know the answers in this case, but what a great idea. Some strange species was cooking, even before the dinosaurs. There is a theory about how the pot could have ended up inside the coal. Since the mines are full of puddles of water, the theory goes, the water could have hardened and pushed the lost pot into the coal slowly over time, but it remains a mystery. If you don't want to end up in a the old mine shaft, why not hit like and subscribe to keep yourself above ground? Time for the rare topic. In 2008, workers in a coal mine in Donetsk, Ukraine were shocked by what they found deep in the mine. As they dug into the coal coking layer, they found something they didn't expect, a strange item that looked like an old wheel. The item was hanging from the sandstone roof of the cave. It was thought to be about 300,000 years old. But because the sandstone was hard to break through, the wheel-like object couldn't be taken out safely, so it was left in the mine. There were rumors and questions about how such an old wheel could be deep inside a coal mine. Was there a lost society living down there? Where do you think this thing came from? Comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19, the Klerkstorp spheres. The Klerkstorp spheres are very strange objects. They are found in pyrophyllite rocks in South Africa. With seam-like lines all around the middle, they look like tiny cricket balls from long ago. It's easy to see why conspiracy theories about aliens and lost civilizations developed around them. In the 1980s, they were thought to have been made by ancient aliens. I mean, aliens made them or... The spheres are actually something known as concretions. Concretions are spherical, elliptical, or oblate things made of minerals different from the mother rock. Thousands of them have been found all over the world. They are usually found in fine-grained rocks like pyrophyllite. The lines on the spheres are left by the host rock, which are built up in layers over a long period of time. Some people have claimed that NASA tests showed that the spheres were so perfectly balanced that alien super geniuses could only have made them. The spheres are also said to be made of a metal harder than steel, but these are mainly just rumors. You can check them out for yourself as they have their own museum in South Africa. Number 18, 500 million year old zinc vase. In 1852, a strange object buried deep underground for millions of years was found when a quarry was being worked on in Dorchester, Massachusetts, USA. According to geologists, the Roxbury Rock, in which the item was found, dates back to the Ediacaran period, about 570 to 593 million years ago. The item called the Roxbury Rock, or Inklar, was found half buried in a piece of rock and was broken in two by a blast of mining explosives. It was a bell-shaped piece of pottery made of solid silver and decorated with flowers. Experts have not found evidence that it is less than 100,000 years old. Some of the flowers and plants on the pottery haven't existed for over 100,000 years. But before a thorough investigation could be made, all of the official documents about the finding of the artifact vanished without a trace. <laughs> Fancy that? On June 5, 1852, Scientific American magazine wrote about the find and confirmed that the item was found deep below the surface, embedded in a solid piece of old stone. Unfortunately, like many other unusual objects, the item disappeared strangely soon after it was first discussed. The Roxbury Rock 
could have told us something about civilizations and tools that might have been around much earlier than we thought. Number 17, 15 million year old shoe print. Albert E. Knapp, who worked for the Nevada Mining Company, made this important and sometimes controversial finding more than 100 years ago. To be exact, it was January 1917, that he uncovered what looks like a very old shoe print. After looking at the rock more closely, several experts concluded that it shows a layer from the heel of a shoe. The mysterious item may have been found in 1917, but it has been around for 200 million years. Microphotography clearly showed that it was similar to a well-made hand-stitched piece of leather worn by a human foot. In one spot, it was double-stitched, and you could see how the thread was twisted. There have been a lot of strange findings in the past that make it possible that modern humans were on Earth much earlier than experts think. Some call these strange discoveries oo parts, meaning out-of-place artifacts. They push the limits set by mainstream scholars and make us question everything we know about modern people and life on Earth and the universe itself. Number 16, 300 million year old Bell. In 1944, a 10 year old boy named Newton Richard Anderson found this bell when he dropped a piece of coal and looked inside. The bell belonged to Mr. Anderson until 2007, but not everyone believed his story. So, he took a polygraph test to see if he was telling the truth about finding the bell. The result was that no lies were detected. It seems he really did find a brass bell inside a piece of coal. It's about 20 centimeters tall and has a figure on top that looks like it has one leg, two arms, and a head. Some people notice that this is a picture of Garuda, the huge bird that Lord Vishnu rides on in Hindu mythology. It has eagle wings and a sharp beak. When the bell was analyzed, it was found to be made of copper, zinc, tin, arsenic, iodine, and selenium, which are not used in current alloys. So at the very least, we can say it is not modern. But this piece of coal was taken from a seam that is thought to be 300 million years old. So how did the bell end up there? We have no idea for now. Ripley's Believe It or Not team heard about the bell and sent someone to check it out, and they were very impressed by this unbelievable find. Number 15, Iron Mask. This woman grew up in an area of Appalachia where coal was mined. Her family had lived in the area for generations, and she told the story of how her father, a miner who had since passed away, once found a cast iron human face in a coal seam. Her father was so happy about this find, and soon his whole family was proud of it. It was hard for him to tell what the object was in the dim underground light, but it looked like a face when he cleared off the coal. Maybe it was an image of someone from a long time ago, like the death masks made of important people, like Abraham Lincoln and Theodore Roosevelt in more recent years. Care was taken to copy and keep all of the face's tiny features, even the cracks and flaws. This must have been an important person. To make the first mask, a hardening material like clay would have been used to cover the face of a live or more likely dead person to make a reverse cast. The resulting hole was then filled with something more solid, in this case, molten iron. Once cool, it made a three-dimensional mask that was a perfect copy of the face. The iron mask is the size of a man's face and weighs 23 kilograms. The top shows the features of the face while the bottom is flat. Wouldn't it be amazing to discover who this person really was one day? Number 14, ancient archeological site. Deep in an open coal mine in southern Greece, experts have found the oldest archaeological site in the country, which dates back 700,000 years and is linked to the hominin relatives of modern humans. The find would push the start of Greek history back by up to a quarter of a million years. However, hominid sites have been found in other parts of Europe that are older. One in Spain is more than a million years old and is currently the oldest known. The Greek site is one of five in the megalopolis area that were studied by an international team of experts over a five-year project. It was found to have stone tools from the Lower Paleolithic period, which was about 3.3 million to 300,000 years ago, and the bones of an ancient species of giant deer, elephants, hippopotamuses, rhinoceroses, and a macaque monkey. The team said that it's possible that the tools were made by Homo antecessor, a species of human that lived at that time in other parts of Europe. 
Homo antecessor is the last common ancestor that modern humans and our dead cousins, the Neanderthals, shared. The Neanderthals and modern humans split about 800,000 years ago. The tools were made about 700,000 years ago. They were probably used to kill animals and cut up wood or other plant matter. The experts said that they were waiting for more tests to get a more accurate view. Number 13, fossilized rainforest found in a coal mine. Scientists digging in a mine found a natural Sistine Chapel. Instead of religious paintings, it has images of tree trunks and fallen leaves that used to be part of an ancient rainforest. As silt and plant matter build up layer by layer over millions of years, the bands that form show how old things are. The newest, youngest layer is on top, and the oldest is at the bottom. Geologists usually take a vertical piece of rock to study things like fossils that have been there for a long time. A coal mine is a different thing see the past. The roof of an underground mine shows a big area within one of these sediment layers or time periods. You can travel through time when you walk through a mine shaft. Miners in Illinois are used to seeing a few plant fossils on the roof of a mine, but as they dug deeper into this one, they were amazed by how many fossils were there and how much space they took up. The mine has small paths separated by poles that keep the roof from falling in. Walking through these tunnels, you are surrounded by what look like artistic representations of the ancient plant life. A model of the old forest showed that, like today's rainforests, it had a layered structure with a mix of plants, many of which are now extinct. Number 12, ancient amphorae. The Ukrainian military were digging ditches to prepare for a possible Russian attack in the port city of Odessa when they came across many artifacts. Ukrainian 126th Territorial Defense members found amphorae, ancient containers used to store and move wet and dry goods. Their tall bottleneck shape was popular in ancient Greek, Roman, and Byzantine pottery, but the oldest examples come from the Neolithic period. Odessa is Ukraine's third largest city and a key seaport on the country's southwestern coast. The pots were made between the third and fourth centuries BC, when Odessa was a Roman town called Odessus. Due to Russia's military campaign to take over the city, it is currently impossible to document the archaeological site. However, photos shared by the 126th Territorial Defense show its members moving the artifacts and several pieces of broken pottery to the Odessa Archaeological Museum to be preserved. And this is an important step as the Russian army has been wildly looting the country as they continue their invasion. More than 2,000 works of art have been stolen from museums in Maripol, a port city that Russia has shelled heavily. Russian soldiers are said to have stolen several famous paintings, ancient icons, the Gospel of 1811 from the Venetian printing house for the Greeks of Mariupol, and more than 200 medals from the Museum of Medallion Art, Harabet. Number 11, Mayan artifacts. Archaeologists in Mexico recently found more than 200 Maya items under the old city of Chichen Itza, Guillermo de Anda, a National Geographic explorer who helped lead the team, said that finding the Yucatan Peninsula cave and the objects, which appear to be from 1000 AD, was not the team's original goal, but they are certainly a nice bonus. A local person told the archaeologists about the secret cave called Balamku, or Jaguar God. Locals had known about it for many years, and about 50 years ago. Some of them told archaeologist Victor Segovia Pinto about it. He had the cave sealed for some reason, so it was forgotten. This time, the explorers chose to look in the cave. They had to crawl on their bellies for hours to get to the valuable artifacts. The archaeologists were originally looking for an entry into a cenote, a natural sinkhole that the ancient Maya thought was sacred and a doorway to the underworld. This cenote is thought to be under a main pyramid in the area called the Temple of Kukulkan. But while looking for that, they came across something even more amazing. The objects are in excellent condition, including decorated plates, clay incense stands, and other things. Researchers may be able to learn more about the rise and fall of the Maya society with the help of this collection. Number 10, World's Oldest Cave Paintings. A drawing of Sulawesi Wardi has been proven to be the world's oldest picture of an animal. This is great news for pig lovers all over the world. This red ochre painting in Liang Tedongonge Cave is at least 45,500 years old. It's the oldest evidence of humans on Sulawesi. The picture is 136 centimeters wide and 54 centimeters high. Even though most of modern Indonesia was part of Sundaland then, Sulawesi was still an island. 
It was a stepping stone for the native people who are descended from the aboriginals of Australia. Not only does it show that the first people to live on Sulawesi were smart enough to be sailors, but they were also skilled artists. By scraping off a piece of the back leg, scientists could use the uranium thorium method to figure out how old the painting is. The most likely oldest age is 45,500 years. That's a very ancient. Number nine, the Terracotta Army. More than 2,000 years ago, China's first ruler was buried in the country's most impressive tomb complex. It has some truly amazing features like a moat made of mercury. And let's not forget an entire army made out of clay. It has a huge network of underground tunnels as big as a city that hold everything the emperor might need in his afterlife. The Qin ruler was buried with clay figures of his troops, concubines, officials, and slaves. 1974 farmers digging wells near Xi'an were the first to find the 8,000 life-size clay models. There are limits on how much more can be dug up until new tools can safely dig up valuable items without damaging them. The Chinese government is looking into ways to continue work safely. Researchers are also not allowed to head into the center tomb, which was Qin's home, because it is said to be surrounded by the moat of dangerous mercury and other booby traps. Number eight, the Venus of Willendorf. The so-called Venus of Willendorf was found in a small town in Austria in 1908. It is thought to be between 25,000 and 30,000 years old. This piece of art comes from the Paleolithic era of human history before writing was invented or human cities were built. The fact that this figurine's breasts, stomach, and thighs are all bigger than they should be means it was likely made as a piece of fertility symbolism. However, its real meaning and purpose are still unknown. Since it is clear that the base material is not from Austria, either the raw material or the finished sculpture must have traveled at some point in its long life. Because the stone is so old compared to the carving, it has been hard to figure out how the Venus of Willendorf is. Researchers now agree that it was made between 25,000 and 30,000 years ago during the Gravesian age of the last ice age. If this is true, it is one of the oldest depictions of the human body in three dimensions that we know of. Number seven, Olmec Colossal Heads. In the late 1850s, a worker on a farm in the southern part of the Mexican state of Veracruz was cutting down trees to make room for a cornfield. As he cut through branches and bushes, he came across a big stone object that was partly hidden. The worker thought at first that the stone was a big pot that had been turned over, forgotten, and covered with dirt. But as he cleaned off the dirt and dug around the edges, he saw that the stone was carefully cut to look like a huge head. Archaeologists would find 17 more stone heads in nearby places over time. These artifacts, called the Olmec Colossal Heads, have helped scientists learn more about the people who lived there thousands of years ago. Most researchers agree that the Olmec Colossal Heads probably showed rulers who were commemorated either during or after their lifetime. Each of the Olmec Colossal Heads has a different face, and some have claws or jaguar paws on their headdresses. There are also signs that they were once painted in bright colors. Another reason experts think they are images of fabulous kings. Number six, Dead Sea Scrolls. The Dead Sea Scrolls are old Hebrew scrolls that a Bedouin boy found by accident in the Judean desert in 1947. Today, the scrolls are displayed in the shrine of the book at the Israel Museum in Jerusalem. Over the past 50 years, they have sparked public and scholarly interest because they tell exciting stories from the Second Temple period when the monotheistic religions began to take shape. The Bedouins found seven big scrolls in Cave One. This was the first treasure they found in the Judean desert. Scientists and historians have been able to put together tiny pieces of the Dead Sea Scrolls and rebuild damaged parts thanks to modern technological improvements. In September 2016, scientists finished virtually unwrapping an old piece of paper with a lot of damage and found parts of the book of Leviticus on it. And there are still more to be deciphered. Number five, the Baghdad battery. Since its discovery, the ancient battery of Baghdad has piqued the curiosity of archeologists. Was this the first battery cell ever created or something far less interesting? If you didn't know better, the Baghdad battery might seem like nothing more than a clay jar with an iron rod coming out of the top but the ancient artifacts discoverer, Wilhelm Koenig, had little trouble determining its purpose. He realized it was a kind of battery, and one that predates all others by hundreds of years. The Baghdad battery is composed of three separate parts, 
There is the lid, which has been damaged. The second component is an iron rod, and the third is a copper cylinder that housed the rod. The rod would have protruded from the jar's lid. This is a sure sign that it had some electrical use. Numerous ancient civilizations have made medical use of electricity. It may have had a similar purpose as when the Greeks strapped electric fish to their feet to alleviate pain. Yes, they really did that. And maybe this was a similar treatment that didn't require going fishing. Another possibility is that the battery was hidden inside sculptures of gods to buzz their worshipers as a kind of trick. Number four, alien alloy found in Russian coal. A lump of aluminum that looks like human hands made it has been held up as proof that aliens came to Earth 250,000 years ago. Humans didn't make metallic aluminum until about 200 years ago, so the big piece that could be up to 250,000 years old is being called a stunning find. But because it was found in communist Romania in 1973, the details of the find were never made public at the time. Three objects were found 10 meters below the ground by builders working near Aud in the center of Romania. They seemed strange and very old, so scientists were called in. They quickly figured out that two of them were fossils. The third seemed to be a very light piece of metal that humans made. It was thought that it might be part of an ax. All three were sent to Cluj, the largest city of the Romanian region of Transylvania, to be looked at more closely. Experts quickly discovered that the two big bones came from a large mammal that went extinct between 10,000 and 80,000 years ago. However, they were shocked to find that the third item was a manufactured metal alloy. Studies showed that the object was made of 12 different metals, with 90% of it being aluminum. Romanian officials figured out that the object is 250,000 years old, based on the studies. A lab in Lausanne, Switzerland, later agreed with the first results. Other experts who did tests later said the dates were much different, ranging from 400 to 80,000 years old. Even at 400 years old, it would still be 200 years before aluminum was created for the first time. Number three, 2,000 year old earthquake detector. Zhang Heng lived in China during the Han era. He was a scholar. He tried his hand at things like astronomy, math, science, engineering, mapping and writing, among other things. Because of his math skills, the emperor called him to the royal court. In AD 132, he showed his invention to the royal court in Luoyang, and one of them was a seismoscope, or an earthquake-detecting device. Even though there are no pictures or actual remains of his seismoscope, it was described by ancient historians as a big bronze instrument with a shape like an urn or a vase. On the outside of this were eight dragons, each with a metal ball in its mouth. Under these mythical projections, there were eight metal toads with their mouths open, ready to catch the balls if they fell. In the event of an earthquake, the shaking would make the pendulum move, which would set off one of the gears inside. The dragon would give its ball to the toad, letting the court know that an earthquake had happened and what general direction it came from, so the government would know where to send help. Each dragon and toad was connected to a direction point, like north, northwest, west, etc. Even though Zhang's gadget is almost 2,000 years old, the idea behind how it works is still used today. Number two, sacred objects. Archaeologists in Mexico found a glittering tunnel full of religious objects, and it may lead to royal tombs in Teotihuacan, an ancient city in Mexico. The lead Mexican archaeologist on the project said that a tunnel found in the old Mexican city of Teotihuacan is full of thousands of ritual objects and may represent an underworld that ends in amazing royal tombs. Archaeologist Sergio Gomez told reporters that the opening to the 1,800-year-old tunnel was found in 2003. Some of the tunnel's contents were then uncovered thanks to digs by remote-controlled robots and later by archaeology teams. Dust from metallic minerals like pyrite and magnetite covered the tunnel's walls and roof. This probably means that when they lit a torch, the whole place would light up and look like the sky and stars. People have found jewelry, shells, and beautifully carved stone sculptures inside. This must have been a spectacular sight once upon a time. Number one, 400 million year old hammer. In June 1936, Emma Zadie Hahn and her husband Max Edmund Hahn were walking along Red Creek in London, Texas. They saw a piece of wood sticking out of what looked like an old rock formation. They decided to take it home. The story goes that about 10 years later, their son broke open the rock to see what was inside, and there was a hammer concealed within. What makes it even stranger is that it was a relatively modern hammer. 
A lot of people jumped on this find to cite it as proof for creationism. They said that the modern hammer was probably from the last few hundred years, and it showed that people lived with dinosaurs at that time. According to them, this was because the world is only a few thousand years old. The truth was that the hammer was new, but it was stuck in the very old rock because of natural processes that some people didn't understand, or maybe didn't want to understand. <laughs> the rock structure was a very cool find, but wasn't as old as it looked. Most likely, a worker dropped the hammer about a hundred years ago, or maybe a little bit earlier. The rock then grew around it. It sadly wasn't proof that the Flintstones were real. Do you think that any of these finds change history? How did these strange things end up in coal mines? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now.